Only Channel Channel here over at Subscribe Star. So uh, Afro Hobbits Season Two, now uh, Asian Elf Edition. Firstly, why is everyone so chubby? They made fun of Samwise for being a, a fat hobbit, but this uh, there's a lot of characters, hobbits, humans, and elves in this who look like they they you're, when you when you go out for some Hollywood movie. Uh, I'm no lightweight myself, I know that, obviously, but if I'm going to go out and do some Hollywood thing, it's going to be like zero carb for a year to drop as much as you possibly can, but there's a lot of people in Rings of Power for some reason who are looking a little soft, which, in the continuity of the story, they're physically active, they're running around, they're they're going on these long journeys, well, you're probably eating one meal a day or skipping meals, you know how it is, like, even in Lord of the Rings, they go, you know, we're going to... Uh, we're going to tighten our belts on this journey because there's not going to be second breakfast. It's like there, there might there might be several days between meals. It's like that's the reality of, of doing what they're doing. So a lot of that kind of doesn't make sense. It feels like uh, they're doing kind of a body diversity thing. And I wouldn't even give The Hobbit this much credit if you're looking at the drawing of the, uh, the horse. Second, too much girl power. Girls don't go on adventures because girls make babies. Non-European diversity in this story does not make sense because it's a European story and it feels weird that I should have to say that or that people would get offended by that. But oh, if you're an SJW, you're going to want to tune out and unsubscribe. So it, it kills the story. Maybe it works for people who haven't seen the movies or books. Also, um, the orcs, are they going to diversify the orcs and make them black and Chinese as well? Or just the good guys are diversified while well, the orcs are all fair uh, well, I mean, to be fair, the orcs look like orcs, but they did give them blue eyes for some wacky reason. If you go back and watch that, what's that movie about the, uh, oh, God, they go to, uh, James Cameron did the movie where they're space aliens and they're blue, and the the good guys, the, you know, the Bush-era military, uh, Cheney is a war criminal for the past 50 years, now he's endorsing Kamala. Yay! Like what? What happened, you people? Um, but they give the, uh, the 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 war criminal guy. Obviously, he's he's fair with brilliant blue eyes because he's the bad guy, um, yeeting the marginalized and disenfranchised and, and oppressed blue aliens who were just busy taking sex slaves and, and you know torturing each other to death. Because um, anyway, so you got to really see this show to believe it to to really understand how bad it is. So first of all, this isn't Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and B, it does everything technically right for the money that they have invested in it, which is substantial. Where the sets, the costumes, the CGI, and the, the sound and the lighting, that kind of technical stuff. All that stuff is fine. Um, but what they did do it is they replaced the European characters with nons. And it is shockingly bad. Because in case you're not familiar with the story, it's I'm talking about a season two, episode four, which I saw last night. The original story is very English fantasy based. I mean, he's done no shortage of interviews talking about the earlier fantasy that was too fantastic. Uh, if you're familiar with, with fantasy settings, and he toned it down to make it more of an action adventure, like um, like Terry Pratchett has done in stories. So uh, no Virginia, there are no black elves or, or hobbits because they're not English, Scottish, Welsh, Irish, or European at all, at all because we are those people. That is our blood. It's immutable. And these fantasy stories are deeply tribal. They're tied to the blood that we share. Everything is downstream from race with stories like this. And a lot of people use culture because um, they don't feel comfortable saying race. It's not you're not going to the heart of the matter. Everything is downstream from from uh, from DNA. So you've got uh, Chinese female elves, black elves, and Galadriel leading the battle. Who's the blonde female? It's everything wrong with storytelling because women are not as good as men in combat. It's weird that we have to say this, but people have got a lifetime of Hollywood showing Scarlett Johansson at 120 pounds and five foot four. She's, you know, going going ham on people. Women make babies. Men are expendable. Men die in battle by the millions, by the billions, because all it takes is one man and and many uh, young women to repopulate a village, a town, a tribe. That's that's how the 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 bio the 
the uh, diamorphic uh, biology works, one one guy can you know one bull can cover a lot of uh, cows. That's it's anyway. Most importantly, it's not Lord of the Rings. It's the globalist parasites at uh, at Amazon. The story is set in a fantasy forest Middle Earth setting. Because the viewer is looking at these groups of Harfoots and finding the, I don't know, the stout hobbits or whatever, their storts or whatever. And um, I can't help but notice that the actors are all sub-Saharan actors, which is weird because, again, the setting is a Midsummer's Night's Dream England, which is whiter than I am. So why exactly are there blacks, Euros, and various Asian hobbits? And, and they're all, they all have... Um, European accents of some sort and I mean they're laying it on thick so uh, so how is it they're all part of the same tribe when they so visibly look different they're supposed to be of the same blood but some of the actors are actually by blood European and some are black Asian whatever explain it to me like I got an experimental shot for a donut I mean obviously I, I didn't hashtag pure blood but you get the idea and you know maybe that's the the um, the division between uh, the Coomer consumers who did get that did get that donut um, who just take whatever's put in front of them. just no no Jay just consume consume and move on to the next thing to consume so um I it just explain to me why you're pretending that the blacks and the Asians are Irish because sub-Saharan Africans are not Irish there's like ten thousand miles between them. So am I taking crazy pill? No, you're just estophobic. That doesn't mean anything. Or, or, or okay, except that you've said the statement, but now answer the question. It's like, oh, well, we don't know how to answer the question. Or is everyone else taking crazy pills for accepting this insane Weimar cancer? Can the Europeans have any stories by Europeans for Europeans? It's a challenge to convey how insulting and uh, ridiculous this is. It's an insult because it's so in-your-face stupid, and I guess they're counting on the fact that people are too politically correct to say anything, but that's what I'm for. To watch a black act... I mean, it's, as long as I, I can be, you know, on YouTube. The only thing that saves the channel is that it's a very small channel. I don't know how many times you could say Afro Hobbits before the channel just... What happened to that channel? It's, oh, well, it's... You know, it survived long enough. To watch a black actor play the role of an Englishman is deeply insulting because stories like this are deeply tribal. And yes, Amazon knows what they're doing. I'm on uh, also Rumble and uh, and Odyssey, thanks to 400 subs over on uh, Rumble. They know they're, what they're doing because they don't take African, Arab, Jewish, Chinese stories and swap in English actors because it would be absurd and I would be the first one to point it out. Stop and really think about why a billion-dollar globalist anti-white corporation are working hard to erase European people. Just... Like, pause on that and start activating the almonds on, on why they would do that. Why would they do something that would cost them money? And as I keep saying, with whether it's with Dustborn, Concord, Acolyte, Ahsoka, or whatever this is, and, and all the other kind of stuff, is none of this is happening in a vacuum. That's why this stuff is is finally hitting a wall. And who's that, that Jack Black movie? I'll, I'll do a video on that, too. Why they're losing their mind over any kind of pushback. Um... Because they are. Disney lost $900 million last year because they're doing this kind of stuff and the other companies aren't far far behind them. The um, the thing is, it's this, if it's this, obviously it's a globalist anti-white movement that has been going on for way too long. And now the normies outside the culture war are starting to become cognizant of it. And, and the thing is, once you see it, you start looking back, you're like, oh, this went, this goes back like to the very beginning of Hollywood. It just gets worse and worse over the decades. And the painfully stupid part about it is not everyone read the books, fair enough, but they saw um, Peter Jackson's uh, movies, which did a great job. To see a non-European play the role that is meant for Scandinavians, that is a conscious decision. Oh, maybe I'll use that as the, uh, the thumbnail. That's a conscious decision that Amazon made. And it's why none of these stories work, because Tolkien wrote the stories. They were organic in a way... That we're probably never going to see again. Not in mainstream Hollywood. People talk about, um, you know, alt, the alt community 
like making things in Hollywood. It's just not going to happen because the buy-in point is so expensive and it's also the district. I mean, okay, no, you can make lower budget films for sure. You can make a movie for under $100,000, a clerk's type of movie, but the distribution of it and the financing of it, Hollywood will get in your way uh, every step of the way because what Hollywood does not want is to have... Uh, a juxtaposition of old-fashioned based storytelling that sells outrageously well and then they have this kind of you know globalist crap and then then people are going to look they're going to take the they're going to take the base you know the actual viking story with you know actual blonde people in it and they're going to put this stuff in the dustbin of history and then people start asking wait a minute why are you spending 800 million dollars to make you know, this wheels of time type of, of cancer or, or rings of power or, or the, the Witcher or all the other, or, uh, God, what was it? The, um, the movie with the dwarves in it from uh, Val Kilmer back in the 80s, Willow. And they did a remake of it, but everyone's mixed race kind of, kind of thing. It's like, oh, it went one season. Yeah, congratulations. So they don't want you to have an alternative, something that, is, you know, was like movies 20, 30 years ago. Because it not so much that they're, they're gonna, that people are gonna pay for that and they'll lose money. It's that people will start asking questions of, wait, Hollywood doesn't seem like Hollywood. It seems like it seems like there's something else underneath the surface of, of Hollywood. Um, anyway, so I don't know if we'll see uh, see these kind of stories again. So the best Amazon could do would be what Peter Jackson did uh, 25 years ago would be to follow the books as faithfully as possible. But they didn't because they're globalists who are intent on erasing and replacing European people. And there's only so much suspension of disbelief a viewer can take. Children can take more. Adults can take less. But when globalists make their propaganda like this, it is, uh, it is way too heavy-handed. You take a love letter to the European people and you make the Black Elf the lead character. Then you put females in um, leadership positions and focus on some, some chubby girl hobbit. There are no Black Elves or Hobbits because they're not in Tolkien's stories because the British clans and Europeans are fair-skinned people. There's no reason to change the masterpiece. That was Tolkien's original story. Oh, yeah, hey, hey. How, how well did um, Indiana Jones, whatever that last one, uh, eh. So, uh, three out of five movies, you're going to the Germans again? Uh, mangled? Time, time traveling Hugo Boss. Uh, well, I think he probably lost two, three hundred million dollars. So there's no reason to change the masterpiece. Um, Amazon can't create. They can only subvert and corrupt. And women are not usually in leadership positions unless the men are dead. And no, you don't sell in the female chubby elf to do battle alone so that the men can escape because that's insane. You've got to come to the conclusion that not everything is for all people. By erasing the European people from their unique story, you destroy it. No other race on earth could create this story because they didn't. Tolkien did. If you want to tell a Chinese or Nigerian story, then by all means, go for it. But Amazon is not going to tell some Somali, uh, Somalian um, story back in their, uh, their, their peak where they've you know, got kings and battles and, and, and that kind of thing. And then race swap in Norwegians and Han Chinese because other races are honored. Only yours is degraded and dehumanized. There's a, there is a Tolkien associated with the show, which shows you how far the West has fallen, that he's willing to destroy a legacy for the money, which, in his defense, they probably paid him like $200 million, $300 million for the rights to just make this show. So, kind of, I mean, hard to take that down, but you also are in a bargaining position of, um, of, uh, of saying like, well, uh, why don't we, hey, Amazon, we're going to deal with the show, why don't you stick to canon? Would would Amazon have passed on the show if uh, the Tolkien guy who's got the rights, the grandson who's holding the rights, if he had said, yeah, let's stick to, can we do it, can Amazon do a show that sticks to canon? Or would Amazon have looked at it and go, no, we're going to pass on this. We're going to, we're not going to make, we have to, we have to make a globalist race swapping um, propaganda so think about that. The Jackson movies, uh, Peter Jackson movies trilogy was successful. And they, and in interviews, admitted to saying, we're just going to try to honor Tolkien's original vision as much as possible. And people liked those movies. People from all over the world. Yes, 
even even Chinese and, and blacks and, and Arabs and whoever liked those movies because they were organic. So if Amazon was told by uh, the grandsons Tolkien that he had to honor the story or he wouldn't sell the rights, Amazon would have, uh, you know, they would have, if they had honored it, they would have had a massively successful show. Instead, they deliberately made globalist propaganda and they knew they were going to lose money on it. They spent $750 million knowing they were going to lose at least half of that and maybe even more of that just so they could dehumanize the European people because they couldn't stand to make a show where white people were honored and cast in a beautiful light that we, of course, deserve. So they, you know, good image there, I'll give you that. So they make a race swap show that's, like I said, the, like all the technical stuff is good, the framing, uh, cinematography of the show. It's it's just as soon as you, you cast eyes on uh, on um, some black leader of the Hobbits, some black female leader of the Hobbits, and you're like, this is an English medieval fantasy setting. Why? Oh, you're just istophobic. Again, I, I don't know what that means, but again, why Why are they here? It's like, inclusion! But people like the original stories, and they don't have an answer to it. It's All they have are ad hominems and deflections. Um, so they made this race swap story that says the only way Europeans can have ep epic stories are if they have Asians and Africans in the stories. Think how degrading that is to an entire continent of European people. That's how much these globalist parasites hate you. Then there were bits about humanizing the orcs, who are, I guess, just poor refugees with high birth rates who will eat your babies. And then the ant wives, the tree characters, because girl power, even if it's 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 woody girl power. Thing is, it's also dumb. It hurts. And also the uh, the grave guardians, which hadn't been invented in canon yet. But that that honestly, that like that didn't matter at all because that's just deck chairs on the Titanic. It's it's the fact that it was a a black elf fighting and a Chinese elf who were fighting these. None of that makes sense because the kings, the people, the race of the people, it's deep, deep tribalism. And then you have uh, the, that, that, the, the black actor who's playing the elf uh, do this interview and talk. And he, he does this interview where he just talks around in circles because he doesn't really have an answer as to why there's, there's black elves because there's not. It just ruins the story. You're like, but you're not of the people. You're not of the tribe. What people don't put their lives on the line for commercials on. You see where America is now and where Europe is rapidly headed. Uh, countries used to be Natal's nation of the blood, and it's now like America. Um, there's nothing. There's what? What are you exactly are you fighting for? Like Costco World going to war against Bank of America? None of it makes sense. You're not the. You're not the people when it's just an economic zone controlled by by NGOs and uh, it's no there's no what is it civic nationalism no that doesn't exist it's like w when you have that theory you just end up with rings of power or or America and it's like ah looks like shit yeah it's because it is anyway uh, like comment subscribe I'll see you guys well I'll see you guys all on Odyssey and Rumble when the uh, the YouTube eventually runs out